And then thank you for staying with us here on KTN Business today. My name is Peter Akabon. This second part of the show, we want to talk about national border management and the sort of, well, ecosystem to ensure sanctity of borders, convenience mm -hmm. for people who want to live, move, work, mm -hmm. trade across borders, mm -hmm. and of course then look behind the curtain at the people who are making this happen mm -hmm. and making it actually work mm -hmm. and work to an international degree with collaboration between international partners, international agencies, mm -hmm. of course ensuring law enforcement, uh, customs and uh, border management, mm -hmm. and a whole lot of other things that it takes mm -hmm. to ensure that your borders are working and working effectively. Kennedy Nyayo is the man at the helm of the Border Management Secretariat. Yes. Uh, talk to us about what exactly that body is mm -hmm. and what exactly your job entails. Okay. And of course the fact that you're also a secretary in the Ministry of Interior. Yes. Uh, talk to us about what it takes to knit all that together. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, first of and foremost, let me say mm -hmm. uh, we are grateful that uh, you were able to give us an opportunity to be here yes. and to speak uh, on the border management that we manage uh, from the Minister of Interior yes. and National Administration. Now, this is uh, an outfit uh, that we refer as Border Control and Operation Coordination Committee. Yes. A committee that is chaired by the Principal Secretary, mm -hmm. State Department for Interior National Administration. Yes. This is a committee uh, that came into being um, uh, through the security laws amendment of 2014 mm -hmm. uh, because of the challenges that we used to face as yes. a country. You know, before then we had, um, you know, ministries, departments and agencies uh, that have border functions yes. not working together. You know, the silo mentality, uh, not able to embrace the whole of government. Mm -hmm. So in the wisdom of the government, we came up with the BCOCC, the Border Control and Operation Coordination Committee. It's a committee that brings on board uh, principles yes. from ministries, departments, and agencies. Mm -hmm. As I speak now, we have a total of 30 principles wow. who sit in that committee, mm -hmm. and I'm a secretary to it. Yes. I also head uh, the secretariat uh, that actualizes uh, whatever decisions that have been made mm -hmm. at the level of uh, BCOCC. Now, we don't stop there. Uh, that is at uh, the national level. And you have rightly mentioned that we manage our borders. Yes. Now, we can't manage them from Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So all ports of entry and exit, and in this context, I'm talking of land borders, mm -hmm. uh, air borders, and as well as sea or maritime borders. Yes. So where we have ports of entry and exit, mm -hmm. we have been able to constitute uh, what we refer as border management committees. Yes. Now, these are multi-agency committees. Uh, which um, are able to see into it that we have seamless operations at uh, our post of entry and exit. Mm -hmm. And they're well structured so that in all land borders, you'll have Kenya Revenue Authority customs yes. sharing those border management committees. Mm -hmm. And all air borders, we have uh, a Kenya Airports Authority sharing those border management committees. And of course, maritime we have Kenya Ports Authority. Yes. So that is how we've been organized mm -hmm. uh, for purposes of embracing uh, government as one, yes. the whole of government approach mm -hmm. in service delivery. So, so, so the question then someone would ask is, yes. why is it necessary to take a collaborative and whole of government approach? Why even bother? What was the challenge created by the earlier way of doing Yes, it? before then, uh, before 2014, mm -hmm. as I did mention earlier, we had all these ministries working department individually. Religious. Yes, working individuals. Yes. That kind of confusion, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, no uh, d d d d direct uh, direction in terms of policy mm -hmm. and strategic decision. Yes. So this committee really brings them together and speak with one voice. Mm -hmm. Because basically you are serving one and the same person who is a Kenyan citizen. Mm -hmm. So service delivery is critical. Yes. And we can't afford uh, to have service uh, delivery uh, which does not meet standards. Mm -hmm. So uh, the BCOCC and the Secretariat ensures uh, through the border management committees that we have in all our ports of entry and exit yes. work seamlessly. By the way, they don't work alone. Yes. They also work very closely mm -hmm. uh, with the security committees that we have yes. at the sub-county uh, level and the county level, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because when you speak about borders, it's about security. Yes. It's about national sovereignty. Mm -hmm. It's about trade. Yes. It's about travel. Mm -hmm. It's about integration. Yes. 
Right. So you, you, you can't really um, succeed if you don't pair, you don't work mm -hmm. very closely mm -hmm. uh, with the national security uh, structure or architecture yes. that you already have. Mm -hmm. Let, let's break the conversation down yes. into the different aspects. And uh, you mm -hmm. mentioned security, so I think we'll start yes. with that and then go to trade and yes. other yes. things and yes. migration. Mm -hmm. I've been to places like Meru, mm -hmm. and uh, you can find... Uh, roadblocks mm -hmm. where they're checking who's in the car mm -hmm. and this is miles from any border mm -hmm. so when you say that indeed sometimes the management is working mm -hmm. in uh, mm -hmm. in conjunction with many other agencies it's mm -hmm. actually visible yes. why is it necessary to take that sort of approach in terms of um, managing the people who are moving and out of your country mm -hmm. we've seen issues for example uh, when you hear that in South Africa, we have people from uh, the Horn of Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they went through Kenya, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to coordinate who's going through and where they're going? That's very important. Mm -hmm. um, uh, first and foremost, let's appreciate that uh, even with um, the structures that we have, yes. uh, we could have some porous borders uh -huh. um, so that people do not go through the gazetted mm -hmm. ports of entry and exit. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the people you get. Um, maybe you find them within Nairobi yes. or any part of this country. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is important that as a country, we have strict measures to know who is coming in mm -hmm. and who is leaving. Yes. Um, remember that we have organized crimes. Uh -huh. uh, we have terrorism. We have smuggling. Yes. Um, we have concealment of goods and all that. Yes, even drugs. And even drugs. Yes. And, and, and we've seen this happening. Mm. So uh, it's good to have um, a well-structured way, the way we, are, we, we, we have, mm -hmm. for purpose of checking uh, that uh, uh, whatever is allowed into this country yes. is, is, is what is acceptable. Mm. Remember, we are struggling with unemployment. Yes. So if we are not very careful in the way we manage our borders, mm -hmm. then you get everything in uh, to our country, you know, mm -hmm. counterfeit goods, mm -hmm. which eventually affect uh, uh, the industry and manufacturing. Yes. Uh, sector in this country, mm -hmm. right? Um, if, if you look at uh, the business side of things, for example, the mm -hmm. government has set a target of yeah. raising some four trillion shillings yeah. uh, for the budget, mm -hmm. and uh, the customs aspect of that cross border mm -hmm. is important. Yes. So what sort of role does this committee and mm -hmm. the entire ecosystem play yes. in ensuring that they support KRA to mm -hmm. achieve that target? Um, yes, uh, maybe it's good to reflect a little bit on uh, yes. the mandate. Uh -huh. uh, that we have as a secretariat on behalf of uh, BCOCC. Yes. Uh, there are three critical mandates. Mm -hmm. uh, one is about security. Uh -huh. So that the structures that we have in place uh, must make sure that they work uh, with the national security uh, teams that we have in the mm -hmm. field mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that uh, the border is secure. Yes. Right? It's secure not only at uh, our ports of entry and exit, but the entire stretch of our border. Yes. Two and most critical is about trade. Huh. So once we are certain that the security is up, beefed well, and then of course uh, the focus will be trade. Yes. Now trade here, uh, the focus will be uh, customs or, or Kenya Revenue Authority. Mm -hmm. So the entire team that we have uh, uh, at, at all our ports of entry and exit mm -hmm. will ensure that they work very closely uh, with customs. Yes. Uh, remember I did mention that we have uh, uh, borders that are a little, a little bit porous. Yes. Uh, we have enforcement teams, uh, both from the police, uh, both from customs. Mm -hmm. So they really have to pair together, yes. work together, and ensure that they're able to funnel or channel all transactions, trade transactions, mm -hmm. through the gazetted ports of entry and exit. Yes. If we cannot do that, yes. then uh, what essentially we're saying, that we'll have trade happening, but not happening through gazetted ports of entry, mm -hmm. and therefore we end up not having revenue mm -hmm. uh, for this country. Mm -hmm. So uh, this structure is important, is critical, yes. uh, because they support customs to ensure that all transactions related to trade yes. will go through gazetted port of entry and exit. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, one of the maybe not so obvious uh, mm -hmm. players in that committee, mm -hmm. I think, is organizations like KEFIS and others, yes. Yes. who then have to play a similar role, but when mm -hmm. it comes to ensuring that uh, uh, things around uh, plants, yes. chemicals, yes. that sort of thing, don't move across the borders without sort of uh, yeah. the required governance. Talk yeah. to us about that. Yes, um, I did mention that we have all these ministries, departments, and agencies yes. with specific border functions deployed mm -hmm. yes. in all our ports of entry and exit. Yes. 
Now we have caves, we have caves as we've mentioned. Mm -hmm. Caves will be focused on plants. Yes. You know, um, so they, they'll work very closely with all these other agencies to make sure yes. that uh, what is allowed in this country uh, is, is okay, is appropriate, yes. cannot affect, you know, uh, the population of plants and, and all that. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, are, we have also veterinary services, you know. Uh, uh, the focus will be about animal health, mm -hmm. caps in terms of standards, uh, and the counterfeit authority, yes. you know, to make sure that uh, what comes in this country is not counterfeited. Mm -hmm. So every uh, agency, every department, yes. every ministry deployed at these mm -hmm. POEs mm -hmm. uh, that we refer as a port of entry and exit, have a specific mandate, yes. but again, they cannot fulfill those mandates if they don't, if they cannot Without work the collaboratively with, yes. with the other uh, key stakeholders within uh, that sphere, mm -hmm. right? And then talk to us about the role of other partners, yes. especially from the non-governmental perspective. Okay, uh, knowing that you work in an ecosystem where mm -hmm. sometimes you might have to work with the transnational mm -hmm. uh, government bodies like the UN, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. What is their role in ensuring that uh, this actually works? Right. Um, we do not only work with government uh, ministries, departments, mm -hmm. and agencies. Mm -hmm. In fact, we collaborate very strongly uh, yes. with other players, uh, development partners. If I could single out uh, IOM, yes. International Organization for Migration, yes. very critical, very important player mm -hmm. in matters border management. Mm -hmm. um, just like the, um, the conference that will be coming up next week, yes. uh, second through fourth, mm -hmm. Uh, they have played a great role, you know, to making sure that we have that conference running yes. for two and a half days. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, they've worked very closely with us, yes. you know, um, particularly in training, capacity building our officers. Mm -hmm. They've been very close to us. Yes. We have a curriculum that we are running yes. um, in Kenya School of Government. Um, we have partnered very closely with IOM. Uh, first of all, to put it in place. Yes. and also to support in training. Mm -hmm. So IOM really, um, other than supporting us uh, as government in many other spheres, mm -hmm. um, we want to single it out uh, for working very closely with them. Uh, and and there, are many, uh, there are many indeed, like yes. UNODC, mm -hmm. uh, USCBP. Yes. Um, so in a nutshell, they play a critical role um, in terms of technology, infrastructure, yes. and, and of course investing heavily uh, in our personnel in terms of training. Mm -hmm. We go beyond that. Yes. We uh, know that the communities that uh, are at the border, yes. the communities that we refer to the straddle communities, mm -hmm. um, are critical uh, for purpose of managing our borders. So again, IOM and these yes. other players come mm -hmm. in very strongly mm -hmm. to sensitize, sensitize, sensitize the communities, mm -hmm. uh, to be conscious on the need to secure our borders. Yes. Uh, basically, they'll be the first point of contact whenever there's an issue mm -hmm. happening at our borders. Yes. So communities are critical, and with the support of uh, these other players, yes. um, we work very closely with them to sensitize the communities, to be very conscious mm -hmm. uh, on the need to guard our borders, because borders speak about sovereignty of a country. Yes. Right. Um, I want you to talk, talk to us now about the conference itself. Yes. Uh, the fact that apart from, of course, being held on the 2nd to the 4th, mm -hmm. why hold a conference in the first place? Uh -huh. uh, do you intend to, is it held regularly? Mm -hmm. uh, is it maybe for uh, bringing people up to speed in terms of what's happening internationally? Mm -hmm. What are the objectives? Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Um, this is uh, the first of its own kind. Yes. Uh, I think to be held in Kenya. Mm -hmm a conference that speaks to border management yes and uh let me be quick to say that we're happy that we are collaborating with iom yes uh, to put it in place um this conference is critical uh because it will speak about what we've done as a country mm -hmm. um because i think we've been able to compare notes mm -hmm. and see and, and have seen that when you compare with most countries, I think, as a country, uh, we are two, three, four, five steps ahead mm -hmm. in terms of how we manage our borders. Yes. I do not want to mention the number of delegations from yes. various countries have, that have had an opportunity to visit mm -hmm. and, and be able to 
you know, study, learn lessons on how to manage. Mm -hmm. So this conference is critical because we're going to showcase as a government how we are managing our borders. We may not be perfect. Yes. And that's why we are calling, uh, we are inviting many delegations from all over the world, US, UK, mm -hmm. Canada, Australia, uh, from African Union, yes. you know, uh, uh, European Union, uh, so that they can as well speak to uh, border management on how they, uh, they mm -hmm. work Best in their respective practice, countries. Yes. So it's about learning, it's about lessons, it's about uh, the best practices going forward. Yes. And, and remember the, um, um, the theme for this uh, um, uh, conference is about consolidating coordination mm -hmm. as we move towards integration. Mm -hmm. Some other countries have gone to that level that they have uh, an integrated border management. Mm -hmm. That is the desire of this government. Yes. So we will we'll have an opportunity to share We'll uh, have an opportunity uh, to learn the best practices yes. as government when we, we, when we still aspire to, uh, to move to, towards integrated border management. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, as, as we near the end of the conversation, mm -hmm. we've seen in the past uh, Kenya and neighboring countries collaborate with organizations like Trademark Africa yes. for the one-stop border posts. Uh -huh. How do you make that work with the different capacities that are across mm -hmm. the different uh, mm -hmm. borders, uh -huh. seeing as we have this across the country, across the region, even mm -hmm. across the continent? Mm -hmm. yes. well, thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, Trad Trademark is also a, a critical partner in, mm -hmm. in matters a uh, one-stop border post. Yes. Uh, we are aware that uh, a number of uh, the one-stop border posts that we have have come up courtesy, of course, of Trademark Africa. It used to be called Trademark East Africa. Yes. And um, that's a good concept. Yes. By the way, uh, moving into the future, yes. the opportunity that we have is to transform all the posts of entry that we have mm -hmm. into one-stop border post. Mm -hmm. Because the traditional one that we have is yes. two, uh, two, two border stops. Two alternatives, yes. yes. The two next to each other. And, and of course, uh, that speaks to the time wastage, and duplication of efforts. Yes. Uh, so that if you're traveling to Uganda, it means you stop, to Ke stop in Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, get your uh, exit formalities, yeah. you know, um, then, bef then, then you move to Uganda and have the same. Mm -hmm. But under the one stop border post, you only stop once. Yes. If you're traveling to Uganda, it means you go through Kenya and stop in Uganda and have all these exit formalities down there. Mm -hmm. In Uganda, you'll find officers from Kenya yes. and, of course, Uganda sitting under one roof mm -hmm. and clearing all those processes. So it's working well. Yes. In fact, uh, is a, is a good um, um, example that we need to pick going forward mm -hmm. in matters integration mm -hmm. uh, so that all the post of entry that we have uh, could be converted into one stop border post. I, I know it's a heavy investment, it's not yes. easy. Yes. Um, uh, so that we are able to have trade and travel seamlessly mm -hmm. uh, through our border posts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Finally, mm -hmm. uh, to a person sitting at home yes. uh, watching us today, mm -hmm. uh, wondering why are we having this conversation, why the conference, why is it important for the mm -hmm. Mwanainchi, the person who we are saying we're doing mm -hmm. all these things for, mm -hmm. to be appreciative of what is going on? It's important yes. um, to everybody, or Kenyans that we have, and the people that you've mentioned, people who you are sitting at home, because borders speak to a national sovereignty. Yes. If you cannot manage your border well, then you may not have a reason to govern a country. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that this government has invested heavily in managing our borders, mm -hmm. so that you're able to guarantee security of the people that live within Kenya uh -huh. and along our borders. Mm -hmm. If we have good security, our borders are well secured uh, so that we're able to stop any infiltration in this country, uh, then you're actually speaking to everybody uh, who lives within the country mm -hmm. and also along the borders. Mm -hmm. Because everybody needs security. Everybody, everybody needs to, to engage in legal uh, and lawful business. Yes. Everybody will want to have a visitor who is uh, legitimately allowed into this country. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you cannot manage our borders well, then anything goes. And that is detrimental to every citizen of this country. So it's important that we hold this conference moving forward yes. so that we have a very effective and efficient 
border management for the benefit of every Kenyan. Mm -hmm. Yes. Finally, finally, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that the conference is on the second to the fourth. Yes. Talk to us about uh, what exactly you expect to achieve. Mm -hmm. And uh, in terms of uh, looking forward after mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. what then we say that mm -hmm. if we get this right mm -hmm. in this conference, then we'll say we've achieved what we set out to do? Yes. Um, we are bringing on board a number of partners. Yes. We look forward to engaging them more yes. after that conference. Mm -hmm. uh, because as a secretariat on behalf of BCOCC, we have a strategic plan yes. for the next five years. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I know that our resource envelope may not be that big, that good. Mm -hmm. So when we continue pairing, partnering with our development partners, we are certain that there are many uh, uh, goals, specific objectives that we have mm -hmm. uh, to be fulfilled. So this conference, we look forward to getting many more partners yes. and, and, and even the current partners that we have to see how we can enhance the support that we already have. Okay. But uh, again, moving to the future, we want to deploy them, to d deploy them rather, mm -hmm. uh, to see how we can invest heavily yes. on infrastructure. I spoke about one-stop border post, yes. how we can in invest heavily on personnel officers, yes. and also how we can invest heavily on technology. Okay. Those three, and be beyond that, how we can also invest heavily on the communities mm -hmm. that are within uh, our borders. Yes, the uh, cross-border communities. Exactly. Thank you very much sir, for the time you've uh, taken to mm -hmm. talk to us. It has indeed been an enlightening conversation mm -hmm. around the uh, border management and mm -hmm. the upcoming conference. Mm -hmm. Kennedy Nyayo from the uh, border management secretariat in the Ministry of Interior. Thank mm -hmm. you very much sir. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. On that note, we want to bring an end to that conversation. Of course, the fact that the conference is coming up uh, in early April uh, indeed something very interesting to look forward to, especially knowing that uh, the management of borders has been key to not just security but trade and also travel and logistics. That brings us to the end of this conversation today, uh, Wednesday for Business Today. We'll of course be back tomorrow with a bit more conversation around the uh, topics making headlines in business. We can still look forward to our 9 p.m. bulletin today for more insights into the business that is making headlines across uh, Kenya and the region. My name is Peter Wakaba. Do continue to enjoy the rest of your viewing and keep it KTNS.